Have you ever wondered how gel coat or fiberglass is repaired? I'm here with Mike Christenberry from Ranger Boats down in Flippin, Arkansas. Mike, you're the service manager here, and you see a lot of boats come in, like my 521 here with scratches. And I brought it in here because we had a windstorm up north, and my snowmobile trailer blew into it and was chipping away at the side. Now, what do the processes say to fix a scratch on the side like this? Well, it depends on how the scratch is. You know, if it's deep like the one that you have, you have to prep sand the area, mm -hmm. the, you know, around the area that the scratch is at. And then you clean that off, and then you have to fill it in with a gel coat putty and let that dry. Then you go back over and smooth that up. And then you, if you have to spray flake, like mm -hmm. we're going to have to do on yours, you spray flake in a little bit bigger area, and then you go back over it and uh, put uh, several coats of clear over it, probably two or three coats of clear, and then your final coat of clear. And you let that set up, and then you sand it back down with the 320 dry, and then you go back over the 600 wet, 1500 wet, and then buff it. So there's a number of steps to repair even a small like scratch area like I had in this boat, mm -hmm. and uh, the drying process uh, takes quite a bit of time in between. Mm -hmm. And uh, now this is something that I've learned over the years that it's hard to find good glass people out there. And I know you guys, you build the boats, and you also can repair them if uh, guys like me have a accident like I had. But um, it really requires a, a skilled craftsman to do this, doesn't it? Yes, yes. It's, it's, even though you might have a small area on your boat like that, I mean, you could take a small area and turn it into a real big area. If you don't know what you're doing, you can create a very big mess. And it really needs to be done by somebody that's experienced at it. I had one of those a number of years ago when I had somebody that didn't know what they were doing try to fix it. And uh, it didn't look very good at the end. But, you know, Mike, uh, it's just it's a great art. And uh, I love the boats, of course. I've been running them since 1979. And I really appreciate you doing this. You bet. All right. Thanks. Thank you.